Hello friends, this is tutorial number 16 in this C++ programming language tutorials. Ok, in this uh, tutorial we will also uh, talk about control statements. But uh, we, will, uh, we will learn about OR and AND condition. Uh, ok, we will create one application. We have, uh, students had uh, one exam. And we need to, uh, ok. Uh, exam okay here uh, in exam have a minimum uh, has a minimum points which is zero and maximum points which is 100 and uh, students uh, were needed 60 points to pass the exam and we will enter the the score uh, the the score exam score of two students and uh, when we enter their score, we will know if uh, both of them pass the exam or if uh, just only one of them pass the exam or both students fail the exam. Okay, and let's start. First, we will need a const. In this, uh, we need a couple of const. Const int. It will be... It will be a minimum. It will be a minimum or minimum score. Minimum score equals to zero. We will also have const int a maximum score which will be 100. And also uh, we will need a const integer and uh, okay it will be exam pass will be which uh, uh, will be 60 okay okay we have a minimum score maximum score and uh, exam pass score okay which is 60 and we need a variables variable uh, it will be a student one and student two score okay variables will be student one uh, it can be score and it will be a student um, student two score we need the two, two student uh, two students okay and first what we need to uh, to write we need to write a message uh, enter a student one score okay and we need end line uh, and we need to enter Seen uh, and student one score. Okay, now we need the same message for the second student. Enter a student two score. And line, and we need to enter the score of the student two. Okay, that's enough, and we will simply we simply want to write to write this uh, to print their score. Uh, student uh, student one score equals, and we need variable student one score. Uh, and we need end line and we need the same thing but we will use copy paste here edit copy and let's just paste to save some time and we will change the text student to score and okay but it can be okay student one and student two and here we need to ch to change don't forget to change uh, the name of the variable it needs to be student to score 
Okay, now we know the scores of the student 1 and student 2. Now we need to check if they passed or failed the exam. And uh, we need to write it. And when we input the, uh, the student score, we cannot input numbers of... Uh, uh, we cannot know result, we cannot input uh, numbers lesser than, than minimum or greater than maximum. Okay, and we need first control statement. And we will write, if uh, a student one score is greater or equal than minimum score. Uh, but also we will need we will need uh, another statement uh, we will need another statement we need and this because this condition is not enough uh, it will be just student one score is greater or equal than minimum but okay if we put uh, if we input 200 okay it will not be good and we need and and we need to open another bracket and we need to type student one score is uh, lesser or equal than uh, than uh, maximum score okay what this means it means that uh, that uh, uh, student one score uh, uh, needs to be greater or equal than minimum score it can be or, or zero or greater than zero but also can need to be uh, or equal to 100 or lesser or equal than 100 it cannot have points uh, above uh, greater than 100 okay and when uh, it will need uh, or it will we will need for this statement uh, okay uh, we will need uh, another bracket but oh yes it will we will need another bracket okay closing here and we need to open one uh, here okay and this condition will be inside inside this uh, this uh, this bracket okay and but also uh, okay, uh, will it be enough? Okay, we can we can do that thing. Okay, uh, for student one. But if we enter the score, uh, we need to define the same thing for the student two because we not uh, we cannot imp input the res student one score good, and uh, for student two we can enter negative number. Okay, we just need to copy this. We will copy this all, edit and copy, and we will give just a little space and we will paste it here. Okay, we need the same thing for the student too, completely the same. Okay, and we need to change it. Okay, well, you see with two brackets and two, uh, and okay. A principal opening and closing bracket and we have a two conditions inside first condition if student two score needs to be greater or equal than minimum and student uh, two score needs to be uh, a lesser on or equal than maximum score uh, okay but we need to to, to get a connection for, for this and uh, we need a uh, end condition here okay this condition needs to be uh, needs to be uh, true and this condition t uh, needs to be true we need to connect it with another end uh, if you understand uh, student one score need to be uh, good and uh, from 0 to 100 and student two score needs to be from 0 to 100 and we need uh, another third bracket uh, here and third bracket here. Oh, 
uh, I think that okay I know that it can be a little more complex but just just think a little uh, inside uh, we have uh, uh, this second bracket we have a co inside uh, this bracket okay second one this is uh, first first bracket is for all these conditions it opens here and closing here just a second closing here okay and this second uh, in the middle is just for for uh, first student open opens here and close it here and inside inside we have a two conditions student one score needs to be a greater or equal than minimum and another condition student uh, st uh, student one score needs to be lesser or equal than maximum and we have the same thing same thing for the for the student two but uh, uh, these these two conditions need to be connected in one condition and because of that we have a three uh, third third bracket okay uh, you just need to just just uh, need to be uh, sl uh, slow uh, you you need to create this step by step I will show you I will show you the code okay and take care about uh, brackets where to open where to close and we need uh, a body okay and let's start okay what we will type okay if this condition is good it's okay but we will we will write simply we will simply write uh, first we need to write uh, if some of these conditions is not good we need to write else statement for that uh, and uh, body of the else statement we will simply write we need to write a message uh, and it will be one simple message uh, a student okay exam score exam score uh, needs to be from 0 to 100 okay that's the message if uh, if uh, some of these condition uh, conditions is not good we will have this message okay uh, okay I will type end line okay and we resolve a uh, else statement now if conditions if condition is good it's pretty much a uh, big but if condition is good we will write our application okay now inside the if statement we will write okay we will have three solutions uh, we need another if statement if and okay or it can be here uh, okay if and we will write a student one score uh, uh, is uh, greater or equal we need now we if uh, their score is between uh, is from between 0 and 100 we now need to know if uh, they have enough points to pass exam uh, we know uh, uh, our const exam pass is 60 and if student one score is greater or equal than uh, exam pass but uh, we need uh, we will need also the same for the for the second student just to copy don't copy the if just edit copy and I need edit and paste okay we have uh, these conditions these two conditions and we will need we will need also and and also we will need uh, another another opening and closing bracket because this is two conditions uh, and but if the conditions if this condition and uh, this condition 
we we need to connect them with another it it will be a, a condition of two conditions okay and we need a first condition to student one score uh, uh, need uh, uh, is greater or equal than if uh, greater or equal than exam pass, and also we need for but we forgot. Uh, okay, this is dangerous when when we use copy paste. We can forget to change the variable. Okay, uh, okay. It this is if statement for students if they have uh, if their score is great greater than sixty, which is exam pass. Uh, we will write a statement, okay. The statement will be, uh, will be, uh, okay, see out. We will just write, uh, uh, both students passed the exam. Okay, and line. Okay, this is the, the, the just this is the statement. If both school, students have the, the score greater than or equal than sixty, they will they will pass both past exam. Now here where else if statement finish, we will need else if statement. And in the else if statement, we can just, uh, I will just use, uh, but don't copy uh, if and this opening body. Uh, okay, uh, just a second. Okay, I now, now I moved, the, okay, I need to put back the, the bracket, still okay. And I will need to copy just OK and copy the brackets. Don't copy, don't copy uh, if and opening body. Add it, or you can type if you want. But maybe it is better to copy and I will use edit and paste. Okay, we now have the the condition student one score. It's the same condition, greater or equal than, than exam pass, and student two score is greater than equal than exam pass. Okay, I use the copy, and we I will need a body here. Okay, uh, and uh, now uh, just to create a body, but I need to change just one sign here. Uh, here it will not be and. We will have a OR condition and this is the, just a second, this is, this is the OR condition, okay. Uh, this means, okay, this means ends. Uh, uh, student 1 score needs to be great and, and, okay, both conditions need to be true to this condition be completed. But here, when we have situation, uh, student one score needs to be greater or equal than exam pass, or it's uh, to this condition to be good. It uh, it need only f at least one student to have points greater than than exam pass, which is sixty. Okay, and if uh, if this condition is true, we will write a message. Only one student passed the exam. Okay. And and line. Okay. Uh, and now uh, we have a third solution. If both students uh, have a less, a less, uh, if their score is lesser than 60, and they will both fail the exam and we need to write it in else, sta else statement okay else statement will be just a little space okay and we will write c out both students failed 
the exam. Okay, students didn't learn for this exam and they failed. Okay, and just I need uh, I will just end line and semicolon. Okay, that will be our, our application. Okay, but uh, no, I'm pretty much maybe okay. I will try to explain you once more. Okay, we have our const for the for the exam. How much is minimum score, maximum score, and exam pass? We have uh, two variables: uh, scores of the two students. We enter their scores. We printed their scores. And first, we need to resolve. First, uh, first principal condition is that uh, uh, score of the both students it uh, cannot be uh, uh, lesser than zero, or and cannot be greater than one. It can be equal, but can cannot be greater than than one hundred, and can be equal to zero, but cannot be uh, lesser than zero for both students. This is our principal. This is most difficult condition. And if this condition is, is uh, false, if uh, we will, uh, if one of the score of the one student isn't good, we will have just this message. And if condition is good, okay, inside we have another condition, another if statement. We want to know if both students, this is if condition, we want to know if both students pass the exam. We have uh, student one score greater than, than 60, and student two score greater than 60. Okay, if both conditions are good, good, this condition if statement is good. But uh, in L this else if statement, we have also two conditions. A student one score needs to be greater than exam pass and student two score uh, needs to be greater or equal than exa exam pass. But this is or, or. Uh, at least one condition needs to be true to this statement and uh, this statement will run in of course in co in case if if condition if statement is not good we will have else if statement uh, but if both conditions both statements are false we will have else statement and it will means that both students uh, failed the exam okay Pretty much code, okay, pretty much explication, not too much code, but okay, let's try, maybe we have some error, we'll, we will see, let's try to build and run this application, and we have, we have, uh, uh, student one score was not declared in this scope, uh, what's the problem, I use a var, I can't believe, I can't believe that I use a var, Sorry, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm publishing tutorials of Tur Turbo Pascal and uh, <laughs> I, I a little mixed, the, the, okay, this is an integer, uh, of course, uh, we, uh, we, it is a variable, but we just have a, okay, that, Okay, what can I do? Okay, it's integer student one score is student two score and let me see uh, uh, Let's build and run. Okay, we have a student one score and uh, Okay, it will be uh, 250 and Student two score will be 25 Okay, we have student one score is 250 and student two score is 25. Okay, and what it means? Uh, 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 it means that exam score need to be from zero to 100. As you can see, as you can see, uh, uh, student one score I is greater than than 100, and this is this is false. Okay, and it is good. Our application works, but let's let's try uh, let's try uh, another. A student one score will be fifty, and student two score we we will input negative number just to see minus four. Okay, and we have exam score need to be from zero to one hundred, which is for this works first com principal condition works uh, very good. Okay. And now uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Just uh, let's try. Uh, let's try. 
student 1 score is 80 and student 2 score is 70 okay it is a scores a greater than 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 exam pass and we will see the message okay we have their scores 80 and student 2 is 70 both students pass the exam which which works very good okay this first condition is perfect now let's try again okay uh, student one score it will be okay 70 and student two score will be zero he didn't learn okay and we will see uh, the statement okay student one score is 70 and student two score is zero only one student passed the exam which is great which is great we know exam pass is 60 and first student passed and student uh, second student failed and we have the message only one student passed the exam which is perfectly okay and let's let's try the third condition okay enter student one score and it will be a student one score would be okay zero and okay this uh, first student didn't learn at all okay and this what this second okay he has a five points he he write hello world and got the five points we will see okay student one score has zero and student two score is five both students failed the exam this works like a charm like a charm this is perfect okay uh, let me close this one okay as you as you can see this code now uh, okay works uh, perfectly okay you just need to 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 uh, to okay be careful with this else uh, but this is application to you learn a very good control statement if else this is this is very important because if you don't know if state uh, control statement if else else if else it will be difficult uh, uh, it will be impossible to 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 move on because uh, uh, these these statements we we will work with them uh, until the end of the course uh, impossible impossible to go uh, okay you will this if statement is not uh, it, I I don't understand very well I will move on you can't you need to practice this example couple of times uh, first code with this me and uh, okay uh, take care about these brackets and conditions and uh, when uh, you create the application and if it works proper properly you try to to type uh, this application on similar one you can create your own and try to practice and when you practice this well you can continue uh, with with tutorials because if you don't understand if and else statements uh, and or or it will be difficult very difficult to you but i'm sure that you will understand it and practice it and uh, you will be 100 percent ready to to continue with these uh, tutorials okay uh, if you like uh, this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you in the next tutorial.